probably the most accurate title for Gary Augustine would be, he's an American hero. Gary was medically discharged in 1972 due to injuries sustained on the battlefield on a combat patrol in Vietnam. A landmine explosion in the Batang Peninsula resulted in the loss of use in his left hand and left foot. I care to introduce you, Gary Augustine from DAV. My name is Gary Augustine. I'm here on behalf of the 1.2 million members of the Disabled American Veterans, known as the DAV. Our message to the President and Congress, defaulting on paying veterans benefits is not an option. So it's very important to make sure that quality across the board is being done and that they do it right the first time. Next, you'll see the swearing-in ceremonies for Veterans Affairs Secretary Anthony Principi. I'm Anthony Principi. My name is Anthony Principi. I served as Secretary of Veterans Affairs in the year 2000 to 2005. Leading what I believe is one of the finest organizations in government. It does so much good for so many people. And that was really a passion of Gary's and why he would spend so much time at the VA. All of your support has truly helped move the needle on this very important legislation. We will continue to work together until the much needed reform is a reality for veterans and their caregivers. Thank you all for coming. We are here to serve the men and women who put their lives on the line. They basically wrote the country a blank check. I first met Gary when he had become executive director of Disabled American Veteran. Gary was always about trying to figure out how do we work together? He never, ever lost steam. If this road didn't work, he was gonna try something else. Uh, you can't look back 20 years without seeing a lot of pictures of Gary Augustine because he was there. You can identify a group of leaders, you will find leaders within them, and Gary was one of those leaders. Veterans are a national priority. It's time that our government treat them as one. We will not stand idly by while our nation's injured and ill veterans suffer because of partisan politics. As veterans found a way to protect our country, when they wore the uniform of the U.S. military. You know, Gary had a natural charisma. He could bring people together, bring Republicans and Democrats and the White House, the budget folks together, and reach a reasonable consensus to make sure America's veterans are taken care of. I'm Kelly Augustine. I was married to Gary for 37 years. And I'm Chelsea Canning. I am his daughter, so formerly Chelsea Augustine. He was severely injured in Vietnam. They told him he was never gonna walk again. It, it affected the whole left side of his body. But, you know, Gary was one of the most determined people you ever meet in your life. But that began his time with using all that the VA offered. And he just felt so strongly that he benefited so much from his time at the VA and all the rehab and support that they gave him that he needed to spread the word. And he found taking care of veterans was to some degree a source of therapy. Carolyn Clancy at VA let us know that they have developed this award and they were naming it after Gary. And our family was so honored. This award named for Gary J. Augustine recognize collaboration between the Veterans Health Administration and a veteran service organization to honor this long-standing tradition of innovation. And Gary was a champion of innovation. He always has been a champion of innovation. The great innovations that came out of VA, everything from the development of the CATS again to the nicotine patch to this first prosthetic foot to working with academia and the cure for tuberculosis. The innovation, the technology that we brought to bear that have made it possible for them to live a full life benefits, and I, I say Americans, the world. The award could go to a facility, it could go to a group of facilities, or it might go to a research team collaborating with a veteran service organization. The point is to honor this long-standing tradition, and so together we can get a home run for veterans. It's so huge what he did and the impact that he has on veterans who will never know his name, will never meet him, uh, may not even know DAV, but are going to benefit so much from the work that he did. 
This award is a monumental way to honor that work that he did and to encourage other members of the veteran service community to continue on for the veterans.